Hello everyone, God bless you. This is Pastor David uh, with you here once again. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our Wednesday devotion. Uh, as always, I say, I hope and pray that you and your families are well. And as always, also, I pray that uh, we continue to trust in God in everything that we do. Amen. Uh, as I said, it's our Wednesday devotion. And um, today's going to be a really, really short devotion. I, don't, I, I really don't want to take up too much time today. Um, it's just something that, that uh, I know God placed in my heart and I have been thinking about for a while. And I'm, it, it might sound kind of weird uh, how I'm going to say it, but there's three words that, that I'd like to cover today. Uh, it's by, through, and in. By, through, and in. Um, I'm going to read, I'm going to read uh, a verse or two verses, uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9, 8 and 9, and I'm going to be reading out of the NIV, the New International Version, and it reads as follows, it says, for it is by grace that we, excuse me, start all over again, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not for yourself, it is a gift from God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Um, you know, in the life of a believer, we really, really honestly have to understand this verse and, and, and the other verses I'm going to be reading or, or the other verse, verse I'm going to be reading later on. Um, and some of you might maybe might think it's with well, Pastor David, it's kind of basic. You know, you, you know, give me something a little bit more. But really, honestly, we have to understand the whole concept of salvation, how what happened during salvation and how so we can share it with others and how we can help others to be able to understand uh, salvation. I'm going to read it once again, Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It says, for it is by grace. Let's stop right there. And as I mentioned, the, the, the three words that we're going to cover is by, through, and in. Uh, by. We're saved by grace. You know, uh, God's grace is something that is so great. If we look at the word grace, uh, it, it's unmerited favor. It's not anything that we deserve. That's what uh, that's where unmerited means. It's like you 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 don't merit it. You don't deserve it. You you know we don't deserve it. I don't deserve the grace that we receive from God. And it is and it says it is by grace that we are saved. And each and every one of us that 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 has accepted the Lord into our hearts, and even those that maybe are listening right now and are still, you know, on on the fence whether yes or no, whether I do, I don't, I want to, I, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm I'm kind of in, in the middle. Well, I hope and pray that that, that whatever in it, and everything that is said today will will help you make that decision to be able. To, to, to accept our Lord Jesus Christ as, as your Savior. And it says here, and it, it says, and I'll read it once again, it says, for it is by grace that you are saved, uh, that you have been saved. And by grace, God's grace is so amazing. God's grace is something that, that, that goes beyond any kind of rational thinking, you know. Uh, and, and I am so thankful that God is not like us. I'm so thankful that God isn't anywhere close to being like us uh, because his grace is, you know, has no, has no limit. His, his mercy has no limit. And really, honestly, it's grace that, that it is saved. You know, we're saved by grace. It's that mercy that God had upon us that, that he, that he saved us. And it says, for it is by grace that you have been saved. And then it says right here, through faith, through faith. Through faith, and it continues to say, and it, and it says, and this is not from yourself, but it is a gift from God. And verse nine says, not by works, so that no one can boast. But let's look at the word through. We're saved by grace, and then it says through faith. Through, uh, it's in other words, it's because of faith. By grace, because of faith. By grace, through faith, and and. You know, faith, again, if we look at faith, and it says through faith, faith is something that, as a believer, it, it is so essential. The Bible even says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Uh, it, it also says that <clears throat> everyone has been given a measure of faith, each and every one of us. Now, 
Can our faith grow? Of course it can. The more we trust in God, the more things that, that, that we are faced with and, 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 and we trust in God and we go through them and we conquer them, you know, and God gives us the victory. And it's not if God is going to give us the victory. No, because God has already given us the victory because the Bible says that he's made us more than conquerors. He's made us more than conquerors. So we, that faith should be, you know, big already, humongous, you know, uh, and even then, even then, the Bible says that, it, that we have faith the size of a mustard seed. The faith the size of a mustard seed. That that's all He requires. That that's all God requires. Just as long as you have faith, <clears throat> excuse me, the size of a mustard seed. He says, I will take care of everything else. I will do everything else. Give me that faith. Give me the faith the size of a mustard seed. Believe through that faith, in that faith that you have, and I will take care of the rest. You know, and as, lo as far as salvation, the, the Bible says in, in, in such a w well known verse in John 3 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And it says right there, For whosoever believes. In other words, whosoever has faith will be saved and not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, and it is through faith that we are saved. We're saved by grace through faith and it says right there uh and this is not from yourself it is a gift from god not by work so that no one can boast you know that no one can boast because again god knows us god knows his children god knows how we are you know those of, those of you that have that, that have children those of us that have children uh we can very easily say i know what i have i know my child i know that my child is this way. I know their characteristics. I know her characteristics. I know his characteristics. I know how they are. You know, no one has to tell me about my child because trust me, I know. I raise that child. I see, I see that child day in and day out, you know, and maybe our children already uh, left the house or they're married. They have their own home, but it doesn't mean that, oh, I don't know them anymore. No, we still know who they are. And it's the same way with God. It's the same way with God. With God. God knows us. God knows who we are. God knows exactly who we are. And that's why he, it, it says here, and it is not from yourself. It is through faith and it is not from yourself. It is a gift from God that no one, uh, not by words, so no one can boast. So we cannot be saying, oh, I saved myself. I saved myself. Yes, because I'm such a good person because of, of, of what I did, my works, my abilities, you know, everyone across the board. Everyone, everyone across the board, from from the 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 youngest Christian, and by, by youngest I don't mean age wise, I mean like newborn Christian, you know, recent co convert, to the person that has been serving God the longest, you know, uh, 50, 60, 70 years or more plus, you know, all across the board, and even from the greatest uh, men of God, from the greatest evangelists, from the greatest preachers, from the greatest ministers, to the loneliest, smallest, you know, uh, or, or, or most recent convert, each and every one of us were saved the same way. Each and every one of us were saved the same way. We we're saved by grace through faith. No, no, no one, none of us were saved in any, in any different way. None of us, even the greatest men uh, of God within the Bible, even the greatest men right now, uh, even the greatest men that, 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 that have lived and, and have already passed, you know, none of them were saved in any other way than how you and I were saved. We're sa they were saved by grace, just like you and I, through faith, just like you and I, so, so that none of us can boast. So that none of us can say, I did it on my own. I did it because of who I am. No. Now, you might say, but pastor, I know at the beginning you said, Three words, by, through, and in. And in that verse that you read, there's only two words, by and through. Okay, but let's go to Gal Galatians chapter 2, verse 16. And it says, Yet you know that a person is made right by God in, in excuse me, with God by faith in Jesus Christ, not by obeying the law. And we have believed in Christ Jesus, so that we might be made right 
with God through our faith, once again, in Christ, not because we have obeyed the law, for no one will ever be made right with God by obeying the law. So there, there we have, by grace, through faith, and then of course everything that we read, and it says, in Jesus Christ. That faith in Jesus Christ. You know, through faith, we can't have, you know, we weren't saved by having faith in ourselves. We, we, we weren't saved by having faith in, 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 in the pastor, in, in the minister, in, the, in, in our brother, in our sister. You know, no, we were saved by having faith in Jesus Christ. He's the only one. Jesus Christ he, he even said it you know, in, in the Gospels. He said, I am the way. And he, spoke, he was speaking to, to his disciples. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He knew that. He knew who he was. And we have to understand who he is also. So we are saved by grace, through faith, in Jesus Christ. And I love that, that verse in Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, and it says, uh, and I'll read it once again, it says, yet you know that a person is made right with God by faith in Jesus Christ, not, not by obeying the law. You have, and we have believed in Christ Jesus so that we might be made right with God because of our faith in Christ, not because we obeyed the law, for no one, and it's so true right there, it says, for no one will ever be made right uh, with God by obeying the law. You know, we, we can't be legalistic and expect to get into heaven. Oh, I, I, I obeyed every law. I obeyed everything. I obeyed everything and not have faith in Christ. We put more faith in the law. We put more faith in ourselves obeying the law instead of the faith in Christ. And that's where it should be. Our faith needs to be in Christ. Our faith needs to be in Him in order to be saved and in order to have a good Christian walk with God. So we were saved by grace, through faith, in Jesus Christ. It's a short devotion, like I said, and I hope and pray that it was of a blessing, it was of an, of an uplifting. Uh, and, and those of you, as I, as I said, those of you that are watching this video, if you still have not made that decision, I hope and pray that you do. And, and, and just ask the Lord to come into your heart, to come into your life, forgive you of your sins, and, and tell Him, Lord, I know your word says that I am saved by grace, through faith, in, in Jesus Christ, we, everything that he did on the cross for me, I ask him, I, and ask him, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for what I did. That sacrifice that you made on the cross, let it not be in vain. Come into my life. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, as always, we praise you, we worship you, we thank you, Lord God, for everything that you've done, everything that you're doing, everything that you're going to continue to do. And I thank you for my brothers and sisters that are watching this video, listening to this video, Lord God, I ask you to bless them, bless their lives, Lord God, that they're, 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 we may truly understand everything that was said today, that we are saved by, by your grace, Lord God, through faith in Jesus Christ, so that we may not boast, so we, that we may not say that we saved ourselves, but it is only through that faith in Jesus Christ and, and, and by, by, the, by your grace, that unmerited favor, that, that, that undeserving grace that you give us every day. And of course, we know that it, it is by, by believing and having that faith in Christ, not by obeying the law, but by, by, by believing in you and trusting in you and knowing, Lord God, that it is you that saved us. Not the Mosaic law, not, not any of that, but you, you're the one that saved us. And I thank you. I ask that you bless my brothers and sisters, bless their homes, bless their lives, and in everything that we do. As always, we praise you, we worship you, in your precious name. Amen. God bless you. And as I said, I hope and pray that this devotion uh, has been of a blessing to your life. And uh, look forward to seeing, here, seeing you here once again uh, this coming Sunday in our, in our Sunday sermon. Amen. God bless you. And have a blessed and victorious rest of the week in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. My shame is up.